morning again, subscribers. You know, gonna get back to my regular content after I did a video on informing you that yes, indeed, the changes to YouTube are real. They are severe. And it is not merely my very intuitive opinion that they are to crush independent content creators of any size, of any controversy, but they are. So, that aside, please watch my previous video. Um, welcome to all of you that are new, but I don't have new people. I'm losing people since these changes took place. Oh, how rapidly the nose dive happens. Nonetheless, I'm still going to make the videos I want and talk about what I want. And you can request one for me to talk about what you want if you want. And check that video out. It's where I'm wearing the white t-shirt. That'll give you the details on what to do if that is indeed something you want. Because some of you have been requesting it for months. See? My new background? It's a wall. Yeah, so. No more stuff in the background and bad lighting and glares. Huh? Baby steps towards being professional. A uh, topic I want to get into today is an INFJ topic, and it's simply more geared towards those of you that want to get close to an INFJ. Perhaps you know one that you want to engage with. INFJs can be tricky. We're very selective of who we let in, for good reason, too. So, this video will be 10 things you never want to say to an INFJ, because you might get door slammed, or we might walk away. Or we might spotlight you. Depends who you are, what you say, and what you've done to us in the past. Number one. How do I know you're not lying? INFJs are, in general, generality here, terrible liars. And we're not known to lie. We're known to tell brutal truths that people may not want to hear and react poorly to. But if you ask us something, we will tell you what we really think. Is it possible we could be wrong? Yes. But are we giving our honest opinion of that matter, which you asked us for? Yes. So if you ask us for our opinion on a matter and are not prepared to hear perhaps a very blunt, very honest truth, then don't ask us. Yeah. Don't try to vilify us because you don't like it. That's not what I wanted to hear. You asked me. Number two, a lot of INFJs are targets for narcissistic abuse. This channel is a living testament to it. Be aware that given our introverted nature and our need for integrity, honor, truth, and all that, we will cut toxic people out of our lives. So something we never want to hear is, but it's your family. Just because we have blood relations to somebody doesn't mean we want contact with them. We judge people for their actions, for the people they are, not who they're connected to, be it our bloodline or but there's some big shot no 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 not a game we play three you make it hard to love you Ooh, yeah and this usually comes in because infjs are very upfront with what we're looking for if you are trying to engage an infj in a potential romantic situation the infj will be very upfront about what their type is and what we're looking for you are not going to convince us to want something completely different we do not care about fitting in we do not care if, you know, yes, we would rather be alone than settle. That is who we are. That is most likely in most INFJ's cases not going to change. Four, you may want to lower your standards. No. No. Lowering standards and compromises leads to a snowballing effect of things going bad because it is a never-ending compromise. After a while, you're, you're still constantly told to lower your standards and it's like, well, and all of a sudden then it's like the compromise is the best you can ever hope for and you're told that's still high. So it's like, just accept whatever it is, you know, whatever you can get. And this could be relationships or jobs. Like any job's a good job. Any relationship's a good relationship kind of thing. No. Five. This goes into our hatred of flatitudes. Fake it until you make it. Well, we can't. INFJs are really bad at faking it, you know. So we'll laugh until we make it. We'll keep fighting until we make it. But to fake that everything is fine until it is, is not something we can do. We're not pretenders. We're not natural born actors. If an INFJ is upset with a situation, not only will, will it be evident, but we'll tell you exactly why and hopefully in a way that makes sense. But we'll certainly say it in a very detailed manner that most people can appreciate 
and understand unless you're a status quo sycophant. Six, it doesn't have to make sense now. Just do what I tell you. No. INFJs are not going to just blindly fall in line, you know, behind things of, well, that's just the way it's always been done. And that's what you're supposed to be do, supposed to do more platitudes of that nature. INFJs are, are forward thinking people. We like to plan things out and work towards our end game, our goal. We're not just going to blindly fall in line behind whatever is popular at the time, behind, you know, whatever is status quo -y. We're going to continue to pursue what we want to pursue. We don't care how impossible it is, but we will take a step-by-step -step process towards that in, you know, a realistic manner. Though INFJs often strive for things that are seemingly impossible, we know that it does not happen overnight, and we know it is a step-by-step -step process. INFJs play the long game. We are very good at working towards a goal and being motivated by each little step. We are not ones for instant gratification. Many people are. We are not. And as I said, but I'm saying it again, we don't really care, you know, for other people to approve of what we're doing. We have our own motives, and that's what drives us, along with helping people. Seven, I know you better than you know yourself. Nope. No, you don't. Because our minds are labyrinthian. We are mysteries. We are the walking paradox. We are enigmas wrapped in a riddle. We make no sense. We are the rarest of the rare. And also, you're only seeing what I want you to kind of thing. So no, you do not know an INFJ better than they know themselves. We actually, we do know ourselves pretty well. We struggle to express ourselves at times, particularly in our younger years. But you cannot, with probably very few exceptions, know an INFJ better than they know themselves, especially if you're trying to stereotype them and lump them into, well, you are a 22-year-old man, and this is what 22-year-old men do. Since when is any INFJ like the majority of whatever demographic they come from? We're not. We are the outliers. We are the exception to the rule. The wild card. So, no, you don't know us better than, you know, than, than we know ourselves. I'm sure there's exceptions out there, but not many. Eight, it is what it is. Nope, that's defeatism. That's giving up. That's just blindly accepting the status quo and be like, well, there's nothing I can do. This, this is what, you know, this is what fate has thrown to me. Now I must live the rest of my life in this pattern because, oh, well, it's just what's meant to be. No, 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 no. You fight the machinations of fate. And strive towards your goal. If the you know if the coin is rigged on both sides of the coin, then you keep flipping the damn coin until it lands on its edge. That's that's the INFJ motto. It isn't. It is what it is. We are idealists. We see the world as it should be, as it could be, not as it is, and think of ways of how to make that reality possible, or at least steps towards that reality. No status quo is set in stone to an INFJ, and no status quo is by definition correct or infallible or unquestionable simply because it is the status quo that is one of the biggest fallacies that infjs fight against that well it's it's this way and if the status quo is this way then that means by definition that this way is good if not the best no 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 nine it is impossible or why don't we do it the way it's always been done yeah i kind of alluded to this one the impossible just takes longer to an INFJ, and most things that people say are impossible are not impossible. They are improbable, perhaps highly. Certain things are, are impossible, like my man-child brother, who is not an INFJ. He's an extrovert of some kind. He is 33 years old and wishes to be 18 again. That is impossible. Most things are not impossible. You know, changing the status quo is not impossible. Eventually starting a charity to help people recover from narcissistic abuse to change the workplace culture, to end the era of the old boys clubs. Not impossible. Hard, improbable, take time, yeah, but impossible, no. So keep in mind what is actually possible, what is impossible, and what is possible but hard. You know, you're going to have to plan a lot, take a lot of steps and work towards it. And just because something's done a certain way doesn't mean that that way is the best or most efficient or most logical. No matter how long that way has been in effect, times change. Everything changes. So something that 
doing something a certain way might have made se perfect sense 50 years ago, maybe out of touch and out of date today. Yeah, like, you know, that's the way it's always been done. Well, then why don't we communicate? Why don't we still communicate through wireless telegraph? Why did that change? Why don't TVs still have antennas? Why don't all, why aren't all cars stick shift as they should be? See, change. They can't ever answer for that. And ten, you're too much for me. Mm, yeah, we get this one a lot. A lot of times, an INFJ will be pursued by somebody, and the INFJ will constantly be informed that we are exactly what that person is looking for in every aspect. The INFJ's behavior remains consistent. We act towards that person the way we've always been acting, accepting them for who they am, including their past and their flaws and all that. Then all of a sudden, we're suddenly too much because our behavior remains consistent, because we weren't lying, because we weren't putting on an act just to simply uh, get that person into the bedroom. They were experiencing who we really are all the time. Now, all of a sudden, we're too much. Also, because we're not the type of person that's going to blindly fall in line. It's like, whoa, wind's blowing this way, run that way. It's like, uh-uh, uh-uh. So that can happen as well. These are things to keep in mind and to never say to an INFJ, if you are looking to get close to an INFJ in any form of relationship, this will most likely derail whatever plans you have for that INFJ very fast. And I think I you know, described it pretty well of why and how an INFJ feels in that situation. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe. Click the notification button because the algorithm is against channels like mine and many other far more successful ones that are independent and not part of the status quo, corporate friendly approved content. If you wish to support the channel, you can send your thanks via the super thanks button or the links found in the description. I'm sorry, in the about section of the channel. If you want a custom video made of a topic of your choice by me on this channel, watch the video that describes that. It is the video with the thumbnail of me in a white t-shirt from my modeling shoot. And also watch that video if you potentially want any witchcraft work done. You contact me. Contact information is in that video as well. So I will be back despite the fact that YouTube wants me to go away, but I'm not going to go away.